Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So we're sitting here with Lucy Crespo. She's the CEO of the Puerto Rico Science and Technology Research Trust. Um, the, the, the trust is, is carrying out a really interesting and really helpful um, initiative. It, it has opened its doors to um, uh, professionals and independent um, workers and startups um, to use the, the, their space um, to be able to, to continue being productive. So, you know, Lucy, can you, you know, tell me a little bit about how this initiative um, began and, and, you know, why? Why, why um, the trust decided to, to do this? Mira, uh, Michelle, well, the reason for doing this is after we returned from Hurricane and Maria, okay, um, we have, I mean, we, we put together the whole ecosystem, um, the, the different organizations that are part of the entrepreneurial ecosystem of Puerto Rico. Um, that include uh, the trust uh, key programs, Parallel 18, and Colmena 66, uh, and we were joined by Imprende, um, Grupo Guayacán, Piloto 151, and Centro de Emprendedores, okay? And we put together a program that is called Levanta Tu Negocio Puerto Rico. And this program, it has certain elements. The foundation of the whole program, first of all, is that we have put together a survey that we are um, asking the entrepreneurs and the small business in Puerto Rico to fill out um, that actually assess what are the damages uh, that they receive as a result of the Hurricane Maria and then what are the needs that they have. Um, one of the significant difference with any other effort is that we are actually um, making teams and we are visiting the different towns okay, to gather this information in addition to have this online because we recognize that as a result of the hurricane, several um, companies and entrepreneurs didn't have access to their regular internet, okay? Mm -hmm. So it was interesting when we start outlining this, we identify like four major categories of, um, okay. of help that the entrepreneurs and a small company needs. The first one okay. actually was a space. As you know, there is a significant number of physical structures that were affected by the hurricane. Um, and then the second one is other infrastructure issues like they don't have access to electricity, they don't have access to water, they don't have access to communication or even access uh, to the roads, okay? The, the third one was financial aid, okay? They do need either some type of loan or grants to get inventory up to get their business running. And last but not least is that some of these companies need actually business advice because, you know, as you know from the um, small business administration numbers and the FEMA numbers, um, in some places that have similar events, the number of companies that are not able to return sometimes come close to 40%, okay? So right, right, so right. one of the things that we are doing is, is that we are creating this group that advise companies that take and take them a step by step, how do they still assess if their space is viable or not, or should they reinvent uh -huh. it themselves and come up with a new business idea? So those are the four areas that we are working on. The first one, in the physical space, we said, well, one of the things that we need to do is to facilitate and be sure that as many people as possible can come back to work. So we, in the trust case, we were very fortunate. We have our building running in our generator. We have been uh, doing business as usual since uh, shortly after the hurricane. Plus we have our fiber optic and um, our satellite internet um, communication working. So we decided that we want to open the space here, this office. Uh, we were very fortunate that we have the provider of most of the furniture here, IDS. They join us and they basically um, uh, loan us some additional tables and chair. So we have been able, see, they were really gracious and so by putting our effort together, we have been able to habilitate close to 100, 110 working space of different areas through the buildings. 
all of them you okay. know people are working very comfortable with their air conditioning and the most important the internet which is high speed oh. so we basically have a register it's a very easy process people confirm they are going to come we are operating from nine to four o'clock is a reduced schedule given that we are working okay. on the generator but the intention is that people come here they have a place to work they are getting back to business and you know they are doing their sales in some particular case uh, they are able to use some of our equipment a photocopy a printer if they need it and in addition to that more important they are really creating a networking you know, and talking to each other. And, um, you know, this is a moment in which we all have to work together and all come right. together and support each other. And this is one way to do it. So I'm very all proud right. that, that the team here was able to put together all this effort. As I mentioned, we have people from Parallel, Colmena, and some other entities mm -hmm. doing the register. Okay. And we really hope that this is one step in helping people. Uh, the other thing that we... That, I want to ask you, how many people have... When did you start this and how many people have uh, registered so far? Mira, we mm -hmm. had about two weeks, a, a little... See, we have a little over two weeks and we have had over 200 different people using the service in multiple locations. Today is a full house. Today we have probably close to 70 people over here in the facility. Wow. And, you know, again, we are very proud that um, we are helping people getting back to business. I mean, I know... Well, how, how long will you be doing this? How, how long do you foresee... Mira, we, 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 we had uh, basically Cipero the month of November. Uh, we, okay. are, we are basically um, uh, having... Uh, at this point in time, the, the rooms available. Obviously, we if there is an event that we need to do, we will, may have to send people to the conference room or do some arrangement. But again, our intention is to provide this as as long as possible and as long as it's needed. And it's free to the user. It, it is right? free to the user, okay? What we want is uh, to be sure that as many people um, at this time in which, you know, most of them are really suffering a business interruption and a revenue impact that they have a place to come that can facilitate them getting back to business. That's what we want. Wonderful. Okay. And so, um, I know that sometimes you don't like to talk numbers, but do you have a, you know, a budget or uh, how much this is going to represent um, for the trust? You know, because obviously it's an expense, no? Well, well, again, you know, we are the, the biggest suspense is that we are running in the generator, but we are running the building. We have to run the building all the time because we are operating okay. from here. Um, and as I mentioned, um, the IDS was very generous, giving us, uh, loaning you know, us some of the furniture. Uh, so in reality, what we are doing is really sharing what we have right now. Oh, okay. 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 And so, you know, I guess the last thing I would ask you is that, you know, tell people about what you're doing and, and maybe um, extend an invitation if that's what you, you know, if that's what the goal of the, of the initiative is. Well, Mira, I, the first thing I need to do is I want to, first of all, thank you for the opportunity. But more than that, I would like to invite everyone to go into our webpage. And especially if you are an entrepreneur or you are at a small business, please fill out the questionnaire because we are taking that opportunity not only to characterize and have the information on what is the impact that, that the businesses have in Puerto Rico, but you know, we are referring some of this information uh, through the Colmena 66 partner to people that can help. For example, you know, if you, the questionnaire you will find, it may, your need may be that you need the generator to start going back to business and have it. Uh -huh. So, you know, uh -huh. we are partnered with Foundation de Puerto Rico and Por Nosotros, Punto, the organization that uh, Manolo Cidre uh, is one uh -huh. of the co-sponsor, and they are evaluating all this information to see if they can facilitate a generator or, or not. Okay, so that okay. is the reason that I feel is very important that if you um, go into the page, um, you get there all the information. The other thing that we have done is that in that page, there is a lot of information about what is available. 
in particular from the financial aid point of view. You will find there how can you access SIVA fund. SIVA is an, uh, Kiva is an organization, excuse me, um, that is doing actually loans of okay. Resol de Maria, and they go right, from a small right. loan all the way to $50,000, and basically it's a zero interest, and it is, it, uh, you know, they have a, uh, a period, um, you don't have to start paying until, you know, in the future, maybe right. nine months. Okay, so we have COFED information, we have at the, the Economic Development Bank information. We have the program that Prico put together for manufacturing companies for generators. We put there the contract, the federal contract opportunity and what is the process okay. that you have to follow. So there is a lot of, a, a really a wealth of information that we have put okay. together with the intention of having them available for all the people in Puerto Rico, the small business and the entrepreneur, to get support and get back to business, which is one of the so, things we need so to do. Finally, what is the link? Where should people uh, go to find the questionnaire? See, it is at, at the, basically in the page. You can go at the www.prtrust.org. Uh, Excellent. Okay, Lucy, thank you so much. We appreciate your time and we'll be, uh, we'll be in touch. Okay. Thank you. Thank you so much, Michelle. Have a good day.